Yellow. Carpy, go ahead. Hey, David. Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I got you. Uh, just wanted to ask you about the start of that game. And first of all, what does it say about you guys? But second, how does that happen? I mean, do guys volunteer for that duty or – uh, if they did, I didn't know about it. And, you know, to me, you know, when something like that happens, it certainly speaks volumes to how these guys want to play for each other and care for each other in difficult circumstances. And, uh, we all saw what happened the other night. Nobody's happy about it. And I couldn't be more proud of these guys. Next question comes from Larry Brooks. Larry, go ahead. David, what was the preparation like for your team, given the news that just preceded them gathering in the room tonight? Yeah. Um, we had normal meetings this morning, and then obviously uh, word got out what had happened. And, you know, I've got so much respect uh, for Jeff and JD. Uh, it's sad, but unfortunately it's a tough part of sports. And, you know, everybody here feels for them. It's, uh, that being said, it's an unbelievable opportunity for Chris. You know, we'll do everything we can to support him. And, you know, it's – it's been a tough day, but it is uh, it's the unfortunate part of sports. Next question comes from Bruce Beck. Bruce, go ahead. David, with the changes today, what was your initial reaction, and what do you think the team's reaction really was? Well, I think we're all surprised. I certainly was, and I think uh, talking to the players, they certainly were as well. So, But, again, these decisions are made, and um, like I said, it's the hard part of sports. Next question comes from Vince McCogliano. Vince, go ahead. Hey, David, with everything that happened today, I, I know that, you know, Jeff was here when you got hired. So just, you know, kind of what has he meant to you as far as you becoming an NHL coach and them giving you that opportunity? And, and then the other thing is, as far as the rebuild is concerned and the job that those guys have done in recent years, like, did you feel like this thing was moving in the right direction? Yeah, as far as, uh, you know, how I feel about Jeff, uh, you know, I've known him for a long time, and he gave me this incredible opportunity. Enjoyed working with him every day. He became a very close friend. Uh, he'll certainly land on his feet, that's for sure. He's a hell of a hockey guy and a great person, as is J.D. And, uh, you know, we all felt good about what we've done up to this point. Next question comes from Molly Walker. Molly, go ahead. David, when you heard the news about J.D. and Gordon, where did your mind go in terms of where you personally stand with the organization and how are you personally feeling about your job safety? Listen, uh, this is pro sports. And when you sign up for a job like this, and I certainly understood it when you get in the NHL every day, anything can happen. And that's how I go about it. I don't think anything further than that. And um, all I thought about was Jeff and JD and, you know, how I felt for them. Next question comes from Dan Rosen. Dan, go ahead. David, just what is, what is your relationship like with Chris now? I mean, can you describe, you know, your working relationship with Chris? Well, Chris and I have always had a great working relationship. Uh, you know, we're very – obviously, we've known each other a long time as well. And, you know, we certainly see a lot of the same things in the game of hockey. We've got a great deal of respect for each other. Not only do we have a great personal relationship, we've got a great uh, working relationship. Next question comes from Larry Brooks. Larry, go ahead. I'm wondering, were you in the room after the first period? And if so, what, what was the dynamic like when, when guys came in and had gone through that first period? Yeah, you could just feel, obviously, Larry, when you play for each other and you do things that are unselfish and do things for other people, there's no better feeling in sports. And I think that's kind of what overtook the room. And... Um, you know, as much as about winning and losing the fights, it's about creating unity and making sacrifices and being a team. And I thought we certainly took a step forward today as an organization. And final question comes from Vince Mercogliano. Vince, go ahead. David, you touched on it a little bit, but have you had any conversations, whether it's with ownership or Chris, about, you know, where things stand for you at this point? I'm sure there has to be some level of curiosity. I mean, we talked all day for that, and I mean, for the most part, and, you know, we never talked, touched on that yet. We talked about a variety of different things uh, moving forward here. So, you know, obviously at the right time, myself, Chris, and, and, and Mr. Dolan will certainly sit down and talk about every aspect of uh, the organization, and coaching will be one of them. Yeah. Thank you, Quinny. Thank you.